Hello. Vamp four represents the number four. Vamp four is a vampire who loves biting all that is around him. And Vamp four. Well done. Now you know. Vamp four. Remember my trick. You only have to memorize the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of? One times four. Mrs. Wonderwand can't help playing tricks on her friends. <laughs> When she comes across Mr. Vampfor, she casts a spell and changes him into Vampfor Clown. One times four is four. Remember my trick. You only have to memorize the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of two times four? When two squeaks sees Vamp Fort disguised as a mouse, she is not so sure, but a gust of wind blows away his false ears in the shape of an eight, and the imposter is revealed. Two times four is eight. Remember my trick. You only have to memorize the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of? Three times four. Three Kenstein is a bit scared of Vamp Four's bite. And one day he does bite his head. Three Kenstein's metal hair stands up on end. Comes completely unstuck and flies across to stick on Vamp Four's head. One of the vampire's own hairs sticks up straight. To get his own back on Vamp Four, Three Consign pulls out this hair and throws it away. The top of the head is shaped as a one and the hair is shaped as a two. Three times four is twelve. What's the story of four times four? When Mr. Vampfor wants some fresh blood, he pretends to fall over. <coughs> Mrs. Vampfor comes to his aid with her nurse's equipment and with a fresh bag of blood. <coughs> There's nothing like a little snack to bring you back to health. <coughs> Mr. Vampfor brings out a straw in the shape of a one to sip from the bag of blood which is in the shape of a six. Drink up. <laughs> four times four is sixteen. What's the story of four times five? Vamp four isn't very good with matches. He tries as hard as he can to strike them, but he can never do it. <laughs> Suddenly, Flaming Five arrives, and Vamp Four has an idea. He bites the dragon's tail, who breathes out an enormous flame in the shape of a two. At last, Mr. Vamp Four's pumpkin, which is in the shape of a zero, is finally alight. Four times five is twenty. What's the story of four times six? When Vamp Four sees Scorpy Six's tasty tail, he can't help taking a bite out of it. 
furiously, Scorpy 6 hits him with his tail. Bumpful flies through the air and lands on a tombstone, which he breaks in the shape of a two. Four times six is twenty-four. What's the story of four times seven? When Vamp Four sees the mummy Ram Seven, he can't help biting her. But he only manages to take a bite out of the mummy's handbag. She is so angry. She rears up and hits Vamp Four on the head, spilling everything in her bag. A fine banknote in the shape of a two and several coins which pile up in the shape of an eight. We have an economic issue. Four times seven is twenty-eight. What's the story of four times eight? When Vamp Four sees the chain of Spooky Eight the ghost, he can't help trying to bite it. Spooky Eight won't stand for that and tugs hard on his chain. Vamp Four resists and pulls as hard as he can. Until suddenly, the chain breaks. The vampire's teeth in the shape of a three are pulled out by the piece of chain in the shape of a two. Four times eight is thirty-two. What's the story of four times nine? When Vamp Four sees Slimy Nine, he really wants to bite him. But Slimy Nine whistles to get the help of his friend, the caterpillar. The caterpillar, which is in the shape of a three, pulls out a clove of garlic in the shape of a six. Oh no, garlic. Like all vampires, Vamp Four hates garlic. Four times nine is thirty-six. What's the story of four times ten? When Vamp Four meets the potion Magi Ten, it makes him very, very hungry. He dives headfirst into the cauldron and comes out feeling very full. He gives an enormous magic burp and blows a bubble in the shape of a zero. Four times ten is forty.